is this going to be a bit different to a normal Anzac Day service? We've got a, um, the descendants of the Rats of the Brook Association in attendance. Cantor Andrew Wines, uh, Council for the Dogger Award of Brisbane. Uh, Nick Elson is the representative Julian Simmons, a federal member for Ryan. And Peter Cosser, representing the Honourable Mark Ferner, the state member for Foamy Grove. Um, I'd also like to uh, welcome representatives from the descendants of the Ratchet and Book Association and Christy Lee Morrow from Ferny Grove High School. So, uh, I've now uh, asked uh, Colonel Tim Simpkin, CSC retired, to uh, give his address. So while the MC is undertaking his role, I need to A, say that this is a production of the Anzac Day Precinct YouTube channel. I need to give thanks to the to Tricia and Gordon Wallace for growing the cutting that has become the Ratchet Rook fig tree, to the Gaythorn RSL for taking over looking after it. I need to thank Sergeant Felicity Geo sits of the 7th Combat Service Support Battalion for unreservedly offering to promote the National Australia Remembers Freedom Wall, to the Honourable Santo Santoro for promoting the legacy of Con Shaka, who thought up the National Australia Remembers Freedom Wall, and lastly to Sarah Mass for an excellent speech that you will hear in the next YouTube. So what you are about to see is Andrew Wines lay a wreath, and then lastly an unbelievable rendition of the last part. I thought I'd just tack on to the end of the memorial service to unveil the plaque at the Wadi Gaida fig tree, uh, an explanation of the symbolism that Robin Gibson wound into the National Australia Remembers Freedom Wall. In the first instance, you have this grand entrance and statement symbolizing the welcome to country in effect. We have the bridge which is representative of Australians traveling overseas. And also we have this symbolic uh, burial of the crosses, the war widow crosses from 95 at King George Square. And that symbolizes the unknown soldier. We then go inside with this ceremonial fig tree. This is the second of the ceremonial fig trees that have been planted. But what has me intrigued uh, when the location was chosen, and it's certainly not a design element that was incorporated by Robin, is that directly in front of us is Anzac Park. And, and through the trees this way is the Tawong Cemetery, which does have a large number of World War II um, veterans that are buried in it plus also the burial plot of Canon Garland who was the architect of Anzac Day. One of the strongest symbols that definitely Robert Gibson did design is in this central portal is this sun spot that obviously tracks across the floor on a daily basis depending on how sunny it is and that is representative I would believe uh, of the sacrifice the never-ending sacrifice that has been made by all the people that are being honored and tributed within the facility now in relation to the planting of a cutting of the Wadi Gaida fig tree I have suggested that in this particular area here, 
a cutting would be suitably planted and would actually make this somewhat noisy portal into a bit more of an attraction for people to stop and think and contemplate. Almost exactly in front of us would be the ideal location. And with that, we can conclude our visit up here. And as I've said many times before, the National Australia Remembers Freedom War is one of Brisbane's most amazing memorials, but so underappreciated and really undervisited. It's a great shame.